cappuccinos, spoon. Thank you. Have a good evening. See you, See you later. This is Emma. Emma's ready to move out of home and into a place of her own. But Emma's never rented before and she doesn't know where to begin. Hey Stuart! Hey. Can I take that for you? You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've just finished the counter. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. This is Stuart. Stuart works with Emma and also wants to get a place of his own. That's a good question, Stuart. Let's start by seeing if you can afford it. How much does renting cost you? Firstly, there's the option fee, which is worth one week's rent and is payable when you first apply for the property. Then there's the bond, which is worth four weeks' rent, and that's before you've even moved in. Then there's the moving costs, buying household items, the phone connection and usage, water bill, electricity bill, the gas costs, garden upkeep and food. We need budget. As you start looking for a rental property, think about what your housing needs are. For example, do you need to be near friends and relatives? Do you need to be near the shops, transport, schools or tape? Do you want carpet, a big kitchen, a bathtub? How many bedrooms do you want? Can you look after a big garden? Or are you after a small apartment? Think about all of these things, write them down, and take the list with you when you go to look for places. If you're renting for the first time, it's important to make a good impression when you're applying for the property. Dress appropriately and act responsibly, and you'll increase the chances of getting that dream pad. Let's see how Stuart and Emma are doing now. Maybe not. Hmm. Just right. After you've been a good tenant for a while, you can ask the property manager for a reference and this will help you get the next place you want to move into. But if this is your first time renting, well, where do you get the references from? You can ask me. out the tenancy agreement for the house you're renting. Make sure your details are correct and you are honest in your answers. Read the tenancy agreement from beginning to end. If you don't understand something, ring the Tenants Advice Service or West Oz Crisis Care and ask for help. The tenancy agreement is a contract and is legally binding and it can protect you and your landlord. The agreement is a legal document which is between the owner and the tenant and in the instance of an agent, the agent acts for the owner. It describes to a tenant the amount of rent that is payable, the length of the tenancy, the amount of people that are allowed to reside at the property, and also describes further in detail their rights, duties and responsibilities during the tenancy. Drum roll please. Now that you've got your house, how are you going to keep it? A property condition report is an important document and is used to describe the condition of the property when you first move in. If you don't make a note of things such as marks or cracks on the windows or walls, stains on the floor, damages to furniture or fittings, or an untidy garden, 
you may be asked to pay the cost for it when you move out. When the owner or agent gives you a property condition report, make sure you check that it is accurate. Make any changes, keep a copy for yourself and then send it back to them. Photos can be helpful too. At the end of your tenancy, another property condition report must be completed for the owner's protection and yours. There are other responsibilities you have as a tenant, and one of them is keeping your property reasonably clean. By looking after your property, keeping things in good working order and removing rubbish, you will prove yourself a responsible tenant. If something needs fixing and the landlord hasn't complied, seek advice, but don't stop paying rent. This will result in a breach and cause you more problems. The owner or agent of your property can end your tenancy for a few reasons. One of those is for breaching your tenancy agreement contract by conducting illegal activities in the premises. If this happens, you can be put on the National Tenancy Database and find it very difficult to get another rental. housemates are causing a nuisance to your neighbours, you may find yourself with a notice of termination. <laughs> Loud parties, damage to other people's property and general antisocial behaviour will get you into trouble with your landlord and maybe even the police. Keep noise to a minimum, tell your neighbours if you're going to have a party, and respect their right to live in peace and quiet. As a tenant, you also have rights that the property owner or agent must abide to by law. Let's have a look at this next scene and find out where the agent went wrong. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. Congratulations on the uh, just get you to sign this uh, tenancy agreement for me, please. Sure. Uh, require a two months bond, two, two months. Um, four weeks rent in advance, and the owner's expecting you to pay 100% of the water. I oh. need you to sign okay. here and here. Okay. spot the mistakes? Let's play back that scene and point them out. Uh, just get you to sign this uh, tenancy agreement for me please. Sure. Uh, require a two months bond, uh, four weeks rent in advance and the owner's expecting you to pay 100% of the water. I need oh. you to sign okay. here. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Once you're approved for a rental property, the agent would ask you for four times the weekly rent, and this is held as a bond, and also a maximum of two weeks rent in advance. Once you've moved into your new house or unit, these rights continue to protect you from unlawful action by the property owner or agent. Watch this next scene and see if you can spot the errors. Stu! Letter! From your auntie again? My auntie? My auntie ever asked me. Your rent has been increased as of now. Can they do that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> rent inspection. Oh. Inspection. What? Did you spot the mistakes? 
Let's play back that scene and point them out. Oh, Stu! Later. From your auntie again. My auntie? My auntie ever asked me. Your rent has been increased as of now. to the property without your permission or without giving written notice to you. Did you mix your own hand in one? Probably. Probably one of the same spots. Sure. Ah, no, I'm too. Do it with the dog. You can do it some work. Can you put your mind here? Yeah, I'm um, mine on the top three shelves. Top three? Yeah. If you use some of mine, you have a number on your one. Well, how long is Damon going to stay on the couch then? I don't know. A few months. What, a few months? One, two maybe. Well, should we tell our real estate agents we've got someone else staying on our couch? Look, Emma, I don't think it's going to be a problem. You don't think it's going to be a problem? No, not at all. Well, alright, look, he can stay for a couple of weeks, alright? But he can't make a mess, alright? And he's got to pay something. He can't just sponge off us, alright? He has to pay some money. Well, that's fine. Well, that's it. Because he's, he's your friend, he's not mine. Well, it's fine, whatever. Right, whatever. Run, boy! Run! Run, boy! Run! You! You too! Man rock! 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 He's got nowhere to stay. He's just been kicked out of his house. Yeah, where are you going to get kicked out of his house if he's... Where are you going to get kicked out if he stays here much longer, okay? We are so lucky that he was out when we had our inspection. Else to do if, if they saw that he was here, we'll get evicted, alright? And he owes you money, he owes me money. Now we're behind in our rent. I mean, he needs to go, alright? You really need to find another place for him to go. Please, just talk to him. Please, just talk to him and see Look, if I'll you can find another... I'll talk to him. Thank you. The owner can give you a form called a notice of termination and can apply to the courts for an order to end your tenancy. They cannot make you leave the property without this eviction order and if they do, they may be fined. After a breach agreement, the, important, the importance part is for the tenant to respond to that breach notification um, and that could be in writing, it could be coming to our agency and getting some support through us. We can also advocate with the real estate or with the landlord or owner directly to sort out the, the breach notification, but it's very important that you notify within the time frame that's given on your breach notice. If you receive a notice of eviction, then you have to go to a court hearing where disputes between property owners or agents and tenants are heard. Now, if you don't go, then only the property owner's story will be heard and this will be a disadvantage to you. Now, if you don't take the necessary steps to resolve any issues that come up, you may end up on the National Tenancy Database, and that's not a list that you want to be on. Um, your name may be on the National Tenancy Database, um, which is uh, information about somebody who's been blacklisted for accommodation. And if you get onto that, if your name happens to go onto that, you're on that list for up to four years and it does make it difficult for finding another private rental because uh, real estates can access that site and um, not give you the rental property. If I find an owner with a reference and I mention that they've been on the database, uh, they're more inclined to steer clear from them. Um, they're not the most desirable of tenants for the owner to have. They are a risk to the owner. 
It's very important to keep that communication up. So if you are having difficulties meeting your um, rent on time, if you liaise with your property manager and they're aware of your situation, um, they're more open to being a bit more flexible and helping you work, work through this little difficult spot that you have. Maintaining their private rental accommodation. Come to us, we can help you advocate and negotiate with the landlord to um, sorting out that rent arrears. Mm -hmm. um, we can assist you financially towards um, part of the rent arrears, not all of it, but part of the financial costs that um, you are unable to pay. Becoming a tenant and renting your own accommodation can be fun. It can give you a sense of freedom, independence and responsibility, but it also comes with a set of rules and guidelines. These rules are there to protect you and your landlord and make renting a positive experience. Do your research, follow the guidelines, make the right decisions and you'll find that you'll be a happy camper. Where is that?